classical weight. Still prefer this ever so slightly for white. This B pawn on B4, very, very weak. You can't play knight A3 because it gets taken off the board as well. Nice little tactic here. Knight A3, rook takes A3, exploits the pin. So this is already getting serious for Fabi. If he loses this B pawn, he's going to have a situation where he's going to be suffering five versus four on the same side with all these pieces on. Critical moment now for Fabiano. Feels like he's in a bit of danger. I completely agree, Lawrence. Here, white has one beautiful pawn island. All the pawns are connected, defending each other. Black's pass pawn, normally a trump card in these types of endgames. It's just weak. Fabiano's decision to go into the endgame, to swap the queens off, I think it was just a bit impatient. And now he's having to suffer the consequences. White's knight also on a much better circuit uh, than the black knight. And look at this. This is a typical top player type of move. He's just trying to swap off pawns now. He's trying to release the tension. He's happy to give away his pass what is this? in order to make his task uh, more simple. But Lawrence, is he not what? just simplifying down into a drawn endgame? The rooks are coming off. Uh, Black's knight now yeah. can retreat. I think Fabi is going to hold the draw. Yeah, And he found a way to bail out. We do see a handshake after the rooks wow. come off. It would just be symmetrical pawns and a pure knight end game dead draw. And ooh, lucky escape for Fabi, maybe. Lucky. I don't understand if we just very quickly go back here. Why didn't he...